Supermarket Family, welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys I have a Target Bullseye Playground haul. I uploaded one last Saturday and I have more items to share so I'm uploading another one today. Now they have three different kind of categories going on at the same time. They have Farmer's Market, which is what I hauled last week. They have an ice cream part and then they also have like the teacher back to school part. I'm not really interested in the teacher back to school part, but I did purchase a little bit from the ice cream kind of section and I'm going to show you footage at the end of this um, what items I didn't buy and exactly what I mean by like ice cream section. So I know people have been saying that I haven't shared my graphic t-shirt. I share my graphic shirts in my Dollar Tree haul but if you're interested I just got this back to the future graphic t-shirt at um, five below and they had like a lot of new ones and a lot of like really like retro ones. So let's begin the Target Bullseye Playground haul. The first item I have to share with you guys which is my favorite out of the bunch it is this cute little Bluetooth radio. It is so adorable. I actually bought it to stick inside of like a tear tray. Um, this doesn't need batteries. So what you do is it comes with like a little cord and you charge it. Um, and then what happens is you press the middle button to turn it on. And then it will turn, make that noise when it's on actually. And then you enable Bluetooth on whatever it is that you're playing the music off of. So in this case, my phone. And it comes up as BT speaker. So you want to pair it with that. So I have my phone paired to it. I'm going to play some copyright free music because I'm not trying to get flagged. Here we go. The middle button is the play and pause button and the two on the side right here either skip the song ahead or back to the previous song and then if you hold them down instead and just don't press the button lightly it lowers the music and then it raises the music. And let me put it as loud as it goes. It goes loud. This little thing right here doesn't do anything, it's just for show. This song reminds me of my Puerto Rico vlog because I used it. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It makes me happy because it reminds me of Puerto Rico. It's really cool, so it's really cool that it plays music because at first I thought it was just a decoration piece but when I picked up the box I saw the Bluetooth speaker. Now this is the thing, I bought two of them initially. Not, I didn't buy them but I had two inside of my shopping cart and I started moving them around because I was trying to stick water in the shopping cart and when I did that I saw the price tag on them. It was $10 each. So I didn't buy the second one. I only purchased one of them. It's more expensive than what you normally buy in the Target dollar spot. $10. I haven't bought anything from the Target um, Bullseye Playground, not dollar spot. That was $10 ever. But I did get this because I thought this was so cute and I've never ran into anything like this before. So I did get it. The sound on it sounds good. I wish that there was like a little hole right here for another speaker because I feel like it would sound better. There's also like a little aux cable. Um, cord right here if you have one. It makes me so happy. They had them in three different colors I saw. White, this blue, but it's like a robin blue and a mint green. I got the white one. I did like the colors on the other ones better, but it's just I knew the white one would match more decor than the other ones would and I told you guys I wanted this for an actual decor piece. So this you will find near where they had the ice cream stuff. I found it like on the very bottom shelf of where the ice cream stuff was. Because I'm showing you that, I'm going to show you the rest of the ice cream items that I got. I got this It's Never Too Cold for ice cream sign. This was $3. They had a bunch of different ice cream signs. I like this one too. Looks super retro. And then I got a pack of these scoops. It's two of them. They're plastic. It's a blue and a pink color, but very like kind of baby pink and baby blue colors. And it was only a dollar for this. And then I got this ice cream sundae glass. They also had a banana split one. This was $3. I wish it was a buck, but no, it was $3. I've never had anything like this. And again, this reminds me of like very retro ice cream parlors. And I don't know, I just love it. Like even the sign, this all together, that like screams like the 50s, 60s to me. So that is it for the ice cream section items. I did purchase more items from the farmer's market section. I was really hoping they were going to get pictures in and they did. Now for the most part I didn't like the pictures because they were just like 
herb pictures. Um, and so the only one that I got that I did like is this one that says market, eat, sleep, repeat. I like the color of the wood on their pictures lots of times. As you can see, these are all from Target. I really like the farmer's market decor, but that doesn't mean I ever go to farmer's markets. I also saw some new other items from that section that I will have at the end of this video as well. Then the next item I got that's in that section is this one. It is a metal cauldron. There was two different colors. There's a white one and a black one. I saw the black one initially, bought it, and went to another Target and saw the white one. And I wish I would have got the white one, but I wasn't going to go through the hassle of trying to like exchange this one. So yeah, this one was five bucks. And did I mention this was three dollars? And I got this for decoration, not to actually like cook or do anything with it. I have like a bunch of like kitchen decor um, that I've made recently and I just wanted to add it to it because I think it would look cute. Next up I got this metal tray. It's a plain white tray with um, nautical rope handles. This was three dollars which is surprising because honestly usually the trays are five bucks but maybe because it's not like that wood looking appearance. Anyways they have this in white, black and then like a metal galvanized color. I got white and I got it honestly to go with all of the kitchen decor I'm talking about. This is the only repeat item I have to share with you guys that I already purchased last week. It is just this wreath. It's $3. It's a boxwood wreath and just like in last week's video I said this is a good price for a small wreath like this because I keep going to stores looking for small wreaths and they're never just 3 bucks. So if you're into them get at Target while they're there. This was near the farmer's market stuff as well as like the dorm room back to school supplies. Um, so I think, I guess I would label this more near like the home back to school stuff. Anyhow, this is just a chalkboard wall tile and it's a big decent size. It was $5. They had um, like a corkboard one. They had a metal one. They also had like the dry erase board. I wanted this one because I feel like I could make this into like a big picture that I could hang on to the wall. So we'll see. This was five bucks. The last four items for sure, I'm going to categorize this under the back to school dorm room stuff. I got this pegboard kit. This was five dollars. It comes with the little like, um, what did, I don't even know what, what is it called? Hooks. Two large hooks, two small hooks, and two pegs. So you just kind of put them inside of there and you can hang little items off of them. And then the final three items I have to share with you guys, they were all just a dollar. I got these metal hanging bins. There's hooks on the back and what they have right now are just like those little wire um, type of boards and you can hang these off of them. They also have like baskets that will hang off of them and I hauled one last week. Um, I got it in white and black. There was also just like a regular metal color. And then I got these metal clips in white, again a buck and in the same colors, black and a metal color. So that's it for the Target Bullseye Playground haul. I have some bonus items I want to share with you guys. I had gotten this really pretty um, pastel pink plate and bowl for 79 cents at Target. They had a bluish color and a gray color if you're interested. I got that to go along with my ice cream decor because I felt like it matched it really well. 79 cents, cheaper than anything you're going to buy in the Bullseye Playground section. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is this wire basket from Five Below. I uploaded a Dollar Tree DIY TV stand and I had this basket below the TV stand. I got lots of comments on it and I did share it in the video. I just don't think people made it that far. Um, basically, like I said, $5 and it has like this linen cloth, whatever that's in it. You can take it out. I prefer to take it out. And yeah, so if you're interested, this is from Five Below. That's like the exact same price that you would pay for something like that in the Target Bullseye Playground. Like I said, I took some footage at Target so you can see some of the items I didn't purchase, mainly from the ice cream section and then some of the items from the farmer's market section. I didn't go over the school supplies just because I'm not really interested in them. I just kind of filmed what I was interested in, but there are other videos on YouTube I know for sure that go over the um, teacher supplies if you're interested. Last week with you guys I shared some of the dorm room items. I didn't see any new dorm room items so I didn't go over that. Anyhow though here is like the extra footage I took at Target. Here we go we got some trays. These trays are five dollars each. They're plastic and each one has a different ice cream design. I was trying to go through it with one hand. I'm not the best at it. It was like white, pink, blue, and green. Then there were the Bluetooth speakers I showed you guys, and these are the two colors that I didn't purchase, the blue one and then the green one. I think I like the green one the most. And there were 
plenty of ice cream things to choose from, like these cone holders. These things were $3 each. They held three. There was glass containers um, that you could put like sprinkles and stuff in that were five bucks. These little scoops that I purchased, there was also little like ice cream scoops near it for a dollar. The ones I purchased, I think they're more for like toppings. Then there was a bunch of napkins to choose from, different designs, a dollar each, as well as ice cream cups. There were these little containers that have straws in them that are $5. And then lots of the ice cream tabletop pieces at $3 each. Some look like they're wood, some it's like more plastic with a glass appearance to it. This would be like the cutest setup for a dessert bar at your child's birthday party. I feel like it'd be so cute. They had like little ice cream aprons and paper hats. And for children, I think, I think that's what they're for. As well as like ice cream cone holders, coasters, little chalkboard pieces. And those were all a dollar, except the chalkboard might've been $3. There are these glasses that you saw me purchase, plus the banana split glass that I was talking about. And then near like the farmer's market stuff, some of the newer things I found were the cauldrons again, but this time I saw the white one. The first time I purchased the black one, I hadn't seen the white one. And then there's other color trays. There's a black one and a galvanized, just regular metal one. And then I saw some bags for the farmer's market. Those were a dollar a piece. And then the final items I wanted to share with you guys were these boards. The other ones, it's the dry erase board and then you can see the little galvanized metal one below it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys Monday with the DIY. Take care, bye.